violation of the Prohibition Act right here. Every police department. Another shoplifter born in England. Sees its share of mugs. Bunko artists. Especially a department as old as Salt Lake City's. Right here, these three stacks are the 1930s. The archives here are filled with photos. Six per page, thousands, yeah. Judy Danker has laid eyes on just about. All of them, every one of them. Even the ones who typically shy from the spotlight. I don't know anybody besides the motor squad that loves to have their picture taken. <laughs> but of all the usual suspects that grace the walls of this police museum. It's a lot easier to see them upstairs. The hardest to forget are always the ones without a picture. We're missing William Cook, who was murdered in 1858. Two fallen officers. Charles C. Riley. And the key person of interest. This is all of our chiefs. In this historian's missing photos case. That guy, Elam Luddington, he's the only one we can't find. The second police chief ever to guide the department back in 1851. He should be over there somewhere. Remains the only one without a portrait 168 years later. I don't think that in that time frame, there was any thought given to beyond tomorrow. Despite tireless searching. LDS church history, you name it, newspapers. Uh, the leads have dried up. Can't find anything. The hope is family somewhere may have a photo. I believe that he had four wives and he lived until the 1890s. Police believe this is one mug that should be proudly displayed. It just doesn't stand to reason that there is not a picture out there somewhere.